Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out these new Korean eyebrow markers. These are called the Dong Gong Min Brow Maker. I don't know why, but the name makes me laugh. It's from a brand, a Korean brand called Cho Sunga 22. They're the same brand that developed these cool finger pen makeup that I reviewed before. This one is 16 brands, so it's their sister line. What's really cool about this product is the applicator. It has a brush and sponge tip in one. The sponge tip kind of reminds me of a highlighter, and I think when you look at these, they do look like highlighters themselves, so it could totally like, be mistaken and put in your stationary drawer. These are designed to define your brows as well as hold your brow hairs into place. And there's four shades to choose from. So I'll be trying out all the colors on my brows today so you guys can see what it looks like. Also, if you're in the US and you wanna try these out, you can find them at Sephora. These are $22. If you're in Australia, you can find these online at Mecca for $31. On the Sephora website, it does tell you how to use it. You're supposed to like brush the product against the growth of your brow hairs, so the opposite direction. Then you go the other direction after. So I guess that helps to coat all the hairs. Then what you do after is use that sponge tip to fill in any sparse areas. So I'm gonna take my brows off and try it on. Now I can't literally match my brows to my hair because they don't have pink in this, but I think I shall go with maybe like light blonde first. Either way, I'm gonna try all the colors out for you anyway, so you guys can see. So I'll try to find a shade that matches. Here's a close up of the applicator. You can see it does look really unique. I've never seen anything like this. You can see that there's the sponge tip applicator and then the brush that you normally would get in a brow gel. So first I'm gonna go in against the growth of my hair and I'm just using the brush part first just to coat it and then I'll go the other direction and I'm just brushing it up and out. So I'm done using the brush to apply it onto my hairs. So now I'm gonna use the tip. You can see here that I don't really have hairs down here and it kind of gets like thicker up here so I have a bit of space here and I guess in the body of my brow I could use a little bit more product so I'm going to go in try this out I'm just using like small strokes and I'm really light-handed with this so I'm just going in I'm just using that tip to I guess you know just apply the product the gel onto the sparse areas and then I'm just going to go in with the brush again and just brush it through I feel like it does take a little bit of practice with the tip because I mean, I've never used anything like this. So you just kind of like work it in and be really light handed. So that's what the brow gel looks like on. I feel like it doesn't give you that really nice defined look um, if you're used to using like pomade or like um, your pencil. I feel like, you know, when you use your pencil or something, you can get a really nice sharp line. But with this, it's kind of a bit more like diffuse and not so defined. So I think it's like good if you guys like that natural look. Another option is you can always go in with concealer to clean it up. So I actually might do that. So I'm just gonna go in with my concealer to I guess carve out my brows, make it look more sharp and the lines more crisp. I mean, you could leave it just like before if you prefer something a bit more natural looking and not so defined. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you the other option if you want to clean it up. Ta-da, so that's what it looks like. What do you think? How do you feel? Me personally, I, I kind of like it. I don't think it's bad. I feel like you just need to practice with that tip a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I want to try the other colors to see what it looks like on my brows. Obviously, this is the lightest color. So where I don't have hairs, it doesn't look as dark as where I do. So it may look a little bit patchy, maybe like towards here a little bit. Usually I would go in with like a darker pencil to fix that up, but I just wanted to use this product and show you what it looks like. So that's light blonde on my brows. To be honest, I don't think it's like that light of a blonde. It's more, more of a brown, but I really like um, the use of this. I feel like once you get the hang of it, it gets easier to use the tip and you don't really have to go in with that extra step of concealer like I said before. It's optional, but this is what it looks like. Shall I try the other shades on for you? Let's do it. I'm gonna try medium blonde next. I'm 
This is what medium blonde looks like on my brows. I feel like as I keep using this, I get better at it. I don't think I need to go in with concealer with this shade. Let's just admit, I did do a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. um, this brow, I'm going to try out grey brown. So that's grey brown on my brows. Comparing the two, can you see a difference? This one is slightly darker, and that one's I guess more brown. So I guess if you have black hair or like quite dark hair, this grey brown will look really nice. The last shade I've got here is black brown. For some reason I find the darker shade a little bit harder to apply. I think it's just, it's hard to get the colour even and I tried my best to make it look not so patchy. But with this darker colour, it's less forgiving than these shades. Obviously this one is a bit too crazy and harsh for my look, but this is what it looks like. So that's what each colour looks like on my brows. I just went back in and filled it in with this colour, which one was this? Medium Blonde. I feel like this one suits me best. Now, it does say on the website that this is waterproof. So I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand and spray some water to see if it's actually waterproof. So I've swatched each color on my hand. And now I'm just gonna spray some water on it. Oh, it's pretty wet. It's dripping off my arm. And then I'm just gonna get a tissue and just whack that on and just see if it's there. Oh my God, it's still there. And it only transferred like the tiniest amount just there. I'm just gonna wipe it and see if it comes off. Wow, it actually stays, none of it came off. I am impressed. I am really surprised that this is actually waterproof and I guess smudge proof because I did wipe over that area really hard with my fingers and it didn't even budge. I definitely really like this product. I may even admit that I love this product, even though this is the first time, but as I tried each color on and I got better at using the applicator, it looked really good. So this is my brows without actually using concealer to clean it up and I really like it. I feel like I just have to use this now. I don't have to use like a brow mascara after or go in with like two different colored pencils or eyeshadow to blend the front out. So it's definitely like made life much easier when filling in my eyes. Eyebrows. I'm trying to think of something I don't like about it and honestly there's nothing. I really like the packaging, it's really cute, it's like little highlighters, it reminds me of school stationery. The formula is great, the applicator is great, there's nothing bad I can say about this. So, I think I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. Yep, I have not rated something a 10 out of 10 in a while, but I absolutely love this. It's just, it's just I don't know, you guys need to try it, it's actually really good on your brows. And I just love the results. I love how easy it is. And it's just like all in one. You don't need like three, four products to do your brows now. Also, I think the price is fairly reasonable because I've spent like $20 on a brow pencil and then I have to go buy like a brow mascara on top. So the price is pretty affordable. What are your thoughts on this product? Could this possibly change your brow game? I feel like it is definitely going to change my brow game for sure. Anyways, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries That. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.